welcome back to Tales from the World's Firesides. Uh, and I'm Clive Gilson, uh, Managing Editor on the project. Uh, today we're going to look at a book uh, from the series, Tales from the Land of Hope and Glory, which is a collection of English folk and fairy tales. Uh, as I say, we'll be telling a story from, from that book, a story called Sir Gamma Vans. These tales are drawn from some of the great collectors of traditional storytelling. Um, and as ever, I hope they, uh, they help to illustrate the beauty and the darkness inherent in our ancestral memories and in our modern interpretations of this confusing world. Tales on the Land of Hope and Glory contains just over 70 traditional English uh, tales from sages such as uh, Hereward the Wake to the delights of uh, shorter tales such as Kate Crackernuts and the Little Bull Calf. As ever, my main aim is to tell stories that might otherwise be forgotten or lost to modern readers, so I do hope you enjoy uh, the story that's about to come. Uh, but let's crack on with the story. Sir Gamma Vans, which is adapted from More English Fairy Tales by Joseph Jacobs. Last Sunday morning at six o'clock in the evening, as I was sailing over the tops of the mountains in my little boat, I met two men on horseback riding on one mare. So I asked them, could they tell me whether the little old woman was dead yet who was hanged last Saturday week for drowning herself in a shower of feathers? They said they could not positively inform me, but if I went to Sir Gamma Vans, he could tell me all about it. But how am I to know the house? said I. Oh, it's easy enough, they said. It's a brick house built entirely of flints, standing alone by itself in the middle of 60 or 70 others just like it. Oh, well, nothing in the world could be easier, said I. Nothing can be easier, they said, so I went on my way. Now, this Sir Gamma Vans was a giant, and he was a bottle maker. And as all giants, who are bottle makers, usually pop out of a little thumb bottle from behind the door, so did Sir Gamma Vans. How do you do? he said. Very well, I thank you, I said. Well, have some breakfast with me. Oh, with all my heart, says I. So he gave me a slice of beer and a cup of cold veal, and there was a little dog under the table that picked up all the crumbs. Hang him, I said. No, don't hang him, said the giant, for he killed a hare yesterday, and if you don't believe me, I'll show you the hare alive in a basket. So, he took me into his garden to show me the curiosities. In one corner, there was a fox hatching eagle's eggs. In another, there was an iron apple tree, entirely covered with pears and lead. In the third, there was the hare, which the dog killed yesterday, alive in the basket. In the fourth, there were 24 hipper switches, threshing tobacco, and at the sight of me, they threshed so hard that they drove the plug through the wall and threw a little dog that was passing by on the other side. I, hearing the dog howl, jumped over the wall and turned it as neatly inside out as possible and then it ran away as if it had not an hour to live. Then Sir Gamma Vans took me into the park to show me his deer, and I remembered that I had a warrant in my pocket to shoot venison for His Majesty's dinner, so I set fire to my bow, poised my arrow, and shot amongst the deer. I broke seventeen ribs on one side and twenty-one and a half on the other, but my arrow passed clean through without ever touching the deer, and the worst was I lost my arrow. However, I found it again in the hollow of a tree. I felt it. It felt clammy. I smelt it. It smelt of honey. Oh, said I, there's a bee's nest, when out sprang a covey of partridges. I shot at them. Some say I killed 18, but I'm sure I killed 36. Besides a dead salmon, which was flying over the bridge, of which I made the best apple pie I ever tasted.
and that is the tale of Sir Gamma Vance. That's a wrap for today in terms of the book and the uh, storytelling. I hope you enjoyed the, the short piece. You can find out more about me and Tales from the World's Fireside Project at clivegilson.com. And there's also dedicated Facebook and YouTube channels uh, shown at the bottom of the screen in the, the banner. If you do like this little uh, story, uh, then please do hit the like button. It really does help with the algorithms and all the, uh, the internal workings of things like Facebook and YouTube. You can also, as I say, follow the uh, Facebook and YouTube channels uh, as indicated. If you do that, um, then you will get access to a whole host of stories every week and uh, insights into the craft of writing and various other bits and pieces that I put up. Uh, so there's at least two or three pieces most, week, most weeks. That's it for now, though. So uh, until next time, uh, keep reading uh, and stay inspired. Take care. We'll catch you on soon.